good afternoon friends so let us start taking questions so one common question i received from many investors like uh, prem sck jaha jaha 5186 cg baso raju sanson a2 sudesh sahot 6256 swaminath samin uh, shivram 2881 where well, everyone is asking all these uh, members are asking in the comment box you know that uh, what is the future of tata technology and irda in a renewable energy uh, development agency so what is the future now from after listing you know such type of bumper listing was there i think uh, tata technology was up around 150 to 180 percent even this irda almost 87 percent up so after listing what to do yeah they have corrected a little bit uh, both the stocks but now from here what to do should we invest more or should we hold for the lifetime so that is what we are going to talk about not a lifetime but long term so that is what we are going to talk about now in detail what to do from here now uh, let us talk about ipo first guys ipo you know that yes currently all the ipo listed and they had a fair bit of listing of course tata technology was one of the bumper listing but that was one of the ipo which most of the investors were waiting for a long time after almost 15 to 20 years gap Tata uh, Sons actually brought this IPO and that's why you, know, you can see what type of listing gain it was. But whenever there is an IPO, you have to be careful as a retail investor you know, because you have to understand about the fundamental of the company. Why am I all uh, telling you all this stuff? Because what happens normally whenever IPO is there, retail investor thinks that no, this all is good and everything is better in this stock. No, it is not like that. Sometimes, you know, the IPO is already been hyped a lot and also these investment bankers, you know, keep the valuation so high that you are left with nothing once listing is done. So my suggestion is, you know, that uh, always take care of this and also always see grey market premium, what is going on in the market, what is the grey market premium. And if you're not sure, you no, know, please get out from the stock on the first day of the listing only. That is what my suggestion is. If you are not aware of the fundamental of the company, because you know, investor bankers, they keep the listing price so high, not listing price, but the IPO band so high that no, nothing is mostly left. But now when I talk about these two IPOs, yes, there was a lot of gains. And of course, the in this Tata uh, actually has not kept so much of uh, high price band. And they have already left much more for the investor, but the listing was at a much more higher. And when I talk about these two IPO, you know, the only problem now we are facing is that the valuation front. So, kya karna at a valuation front that we are going to talk in detail. And also on the listing day, guys, my suggestion is to you that you have to see where the stock price is going. Just because it is going up, up, that doesn't mean that you have to stay invested. Okay, ke bhai, ye upar upar jayega. Nahi, many times you you seen lo, so many stocks has gone up then can like land pharma you can talk about uh, yeah you can talk about zomato team the way they crash so anything can happen so after ipo guys understanding fundamental of the company is very very important please do not ignore that point because if you are not able to understand the fundamental technically you will not able to access guys technical now because there is so much of fluctuation coming in the stock price now how technical you will be able to do it again normally in six months you now whoever are the uh, basically anchor investor once their period is over they normally start getting on it then after again the stock goes down so lot of things like uh, if you talk about angel one no i do remember it listed around 300 350 and now it is almost no more than uh, 2000 rupees and that is what you have to understand sometimes the stock will give you a much more bumper return but when you will able to take that when you are able to understand with the fundamental of the company otherwise it will always be a tussle within the emotions so please take care of this today we are going to talk fundamental of uh, both technology tata technology and irda that as an investor what we should do correct so guys let us start with that but before i, I go guys please do subscribe our channel and do like our videos if you feel it and please share it to your friends and relatives so that everyone can take benefit out of these videos so let us start with our uh, understanding about the, these two ipo just listed so let me share the screen so uh, talking about tata technologies guys first we'll take tata technology 
and uh, you can see already you know it is uh, basically it's a large cap stock because listing was at a much more higher level but stock e now this is where the problem will create that is 77.5 roc is good even uh, ro is very good so uh, there is no issue on that part of course it has gone up to 1400 level you know and then it has gone to 1151 so this is what is there you know tata technology it is a tata group subsidiary uh, of course subsidiary of tata motors and you no know, no they are there in the designing and all that uh, product development if you are not gone to my uh, uh, initial ipo briefing you can check the ipo uh, tata technology ipo details there you will come to know i'll put the link below now let us talk about the stock price yes it has gone up and then gone down uh, from the listing it has recovered a lot uh, so no need to check the price now uh when we talk we'll talk about the ps comparison but one thing you have to understand here is the how is the performance over the years now this is what we have to see now performance if you can see here uh this is a uh, over the years like you know uh, if you see the operating margin is going up even the sales is decent enough uh growth is then around uh, you can say that uh around 20 to 25 percent even the profitability growth is also there that is also a good jump in the profitability over the years you can so slowly and gradually it is going up and when you talk about uh, uh, currently compounding sales growth is 25 percent and uh, annual uh, three year cagr rate is uh, growth rate is around 16 percent compounding profit growth is 34 percent which is very good in last three years current rate is 43 percent and ROE 1924. Now, this is what is the current status of the growth. When we talk about the uh, basically, yes, cash flow is a negative, but that is a they are doing some investment, that is why it is negative. And also, if we talk about, uh, I think the pattern is not, but you know, Tata Sons is the um, largest shareholder in that uh, stock stock again now let us compare with the peers now this is the most important part you have to understand here because this is where you will decide whether you should in be remain invested in tata technology or you should get out now tata technology you can see the p ratio is almost 77 okay industry p ratio for that uh, competitors are around 38.7 now uh, tata technology has higher p ratio than tata lx also at one time tata lx also used to trade it if you remember 85 90 p now it is corrected to 66 persistent 49 again kpit also 82 which is higher than tata technology but uh, uh, it is getting a premium because it is showing uh, better growth also so when we talk about roe roe is around 24 here kpit 25 so that is okay ROI around 13.25, that is also good. EV by EBITDA, of course, it is expensive. You can see here, even current CMP per sales 10.95 against the average 4.2, that is also expensive. Now, sales growth, sales growth is 25%. In last three years, it was 15%, and profit growth was 34%. Same, you can see KPIT is having the, if you talk about sales of 56%, uh, sorry, sales of 16% uh, for last three years. A profit growth 35 percent that's why you know you can see here the p ratio is almost similar everything is similar and that is what the market is giving market is giving uh like a uh, no valuation of kpit and of course kpit was not so good now okay slowly and gradually the way it started performing you now overall the market started getting more premium that's why its p ratio started going up so the constant uh, uh sales growth you can see here that is what has helped uh, basically KPIT to increase the uh, P ratio. More premium was given. Persistent, of course, 38%, much better growth, much better profitability. But then also persistent is not getting that type of valuation which Tata is there. Tata, of course, you know, because of the name of Tata also, it is getting more premium. Again, Tata LX, you can see 25 profit growth, 44. That is also having a much better than uh tata technology but yes p, uh, p ratio is lower so if you talk about this now why i'm talking uh, okay current ratio and all that is there but uh, it's okay if we don't see that okay now if we what i want to try to convey is that valuation of tata technology is at par at what it should be 
ओके और उससे कम ही होगा हो सकता है इससे ज्यादा होना यानी इट इज ओवर वैल्यू and that is what you have to keep in mind so my suggestion here is not that you should wait how is the performance of uh, basically tata technology in next quarters if it is able to perform better then i think uh, no you should invest more because otherwise this p high p ratio will not sustain and again then it will start falling down so keep this point in mind because this is very very important point to understand other see if you remember tata alexi and all that stocks you know why it is not going on because the valuation gone high now it is corrected in last two years similarly for tata technologies also we have to see next two three quarters how is the result and whether the result is supporting the p ratio what it is deriving currently if it is supporting then there is not a problem so keep this point in mind uh if you if you ask me you can hold it currently just wait for few quarters and then you take the decision of course you must not have been invested to big amount so you don't have to worry about if you are having a ipo list already you are at a 150% gain so you don't have to worry about as such now let us talk about irda so uh, let me share the screen again so talking about irda you know that also had a bumper listing and uh, yeah, let me open that so irda you know almost 87% listing was there and uh, of course you uh, know it is it is on a gone up to almost uh, you can say 69 again it is going to 50 stock p 19.6 but uh, guys all the stocks in the same sector are having either this much or below pe only so utna hi mil raha hai zyada nahi mil raha hai isme it is like a mid cap roc is less 80 8.17 and roe is 15.4 of course government is having a major holding in that okay it's like a mini ratna okay so uh, achhi company hai at a government but uh, yeah public sector uh, basically more uh, involvement is there now if you talk about uh, sales and margin then sales and margin is almost you can see here net profit margin is around you can say 24% which is in a good uh, uh, margin overall to have uh we we forgot to check the uh, one minute tata technologies uh, uh, margin so just to show you tata technology margin was sales and margin because this is very important to understand okay they have not mentioned here no problem so let me go back to irda so uh yes margin is okay overall if you can see here again uh, now let us talk about the profitability and the uh, quarterly result so quarterly result guys uh, you can see gross npa and net npa which is around uh, you can see uh, 3 and 1.65 which in last quarter was 3.08 and 1.61 so yes little bit of uh, uh, uptick is there but uh, 1.6 is not so great also but okay okay type so uh, somehow if they are able to control their npa that is a positive sign again when we talk about uh, profit and loss account guys across the years you can see a, a good jump is coming a good jump is coming on the revenue front uh, slowly and gradually it is coming up and also if you talk about net profit also there is a very good jump okay and that is why this company is doing well currently dekhi eps mein aap dekh sakte ho acha khasa growth hai over more than 40% now if you talk about uh, the last uh, CAG so 3 year CAG is 14 but yes uh, this year it is almost 22% so that is good compounded uh, profit growth is almost 3 years 59% and this year 36% so uh, overall uh, ro is 15 that's okay so uh, overall profitability point of you know uh, the company is doing well now let us talk about valuation because valuation is the most important thing because after you had a, such a great listing now you have to understand whether valuation is good enough so that i can hold this stock or not and uh, if you talk about valuation guys indian renewable is having a 19 p which is much higher than irfc you know what type of irfc you know growth was there in last few years and rec 8.1 Uh, and par finance 6.94 so already you can say against the industry p also indian renew, renewable is having a much more higher p of course 
market is expecting that there will be a good growth in this stock that's why it is getting higher p now if you talk about current cmp dear basis 4.8 is on a higher side but you can see here uh yes roa 15 that is okay roa 1.98 yeah but sales growth you can see 22 percent this year in last three years it is almost 13 percent but profit growth is almost 59 percent and that is what helping is i in irda again sales growth uh, irfc 15.9 in sales growth in last three years 21 percent for irfc and profit growth 25 percent so what i'm trying to convey here is that uh, if you see the sales year and profit that is validating a higher p because their profit growth is good okay but as i told you earlier also that higher p is justifiable provided they are able to sustain the same type of profitability or more profitability from here agar wo nahi kar payenge then uh, then this p ratio will go down so please go through the next few quarters you know how the, it is going to perform currently even for ird i will not tell you to buy more stocks because valuation is on a higher side but at this level if you want uh, you can hold this stock and see if in future how the result is coming of course it is a government company so dividend and all that will be much better and uh, hopefully it is a, yes it is a one type of monopoly only but yes both tata technology and irda both uh, falls in a bucket of a good stock only the valuation is a problem so but yes if the valuation goes down of these companies in future i think you should uh, enter this stock and that will happen only when there is some issue is going on in the market and then they fall that's a different thing again guys if you want to understand know how to do a valuation like this and the way we are checking you can attend my master class normally i do every week so the link will be given in the comment box do attend that master class it will give you a lot of value because guys at the end of the day we are talking about long term investment here if you want to really earn in long term investment you should know the fundamental of the company technical we are using for some entry exit that's that's a different thing but fundamental is very important do attend in session that will help you a lot or help you a lot and again guys do subscribe and do like this video and do share this video to everyone so that everyone can take a benefit of it so thank you very much guys i'll see you tomorrow morning bye bye